Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video on the 8-Bit Guys channel. It has been quite a long time. The last video we did make was a, uh, I think, a Nether Portal Connection video, which was back in, I think, June. Back in the day. But we are back and we're better than ever. Better equipment, everything's good. Uh, Post will have his videos coming out soon. He'll be doing some Feed the Beast tutorials and let's play I'll be doing just some building all that good stuff mixing it in and trying to get as much content out on the channel as possible and today we will be starting a small little town in which I'm going with a medieval theme as you can see we're using the John Smith texture pack um, and the first building we're gonna make is just my house which I will be quote unquote living in during the building process of this whole town. So I picked out this small area. It's near a desert as well. There's some more flat area near that swamp. I can always clear out more, uh, build some roads and stuff, but I just made this flat area. I tried to make it look as like, natural as possible, but I need to work on that a little more. But for right now, it should do. And the main materials I will be using for this is glass, stone slabs, spruce wood planks, cobblestone, stone bricks, and I just have a wool just in case because I kind of like how it looks in this texture pack. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I have no really, no real plan for this building, so really it's just going to end up the way I want it to end up. And it's going to have its moments. So let's see. I kind of want corners work on corners later. Uh, I, I'm stuck between using cobblestone or stone brick, but I think cobblestone looks better in this purpose. If this was a survival world um, with default textures, I'd probably use stone brick, but for right now I think it'll do fine, and I think that's perfect. This world will be up for download when I finish this house, so you guys can actually use it as a world as there are a plentiful amount of caves in this area that you can explore, so if you want to use this house as survival, go for it. I think it'd be perfect. Now I want to bring this out just a little more. Or is that too much? I want to keep things symmetrical in a way. How? Let's, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like we're not going to have enough room. One, two, three, six. Okay, we've got to make a little more room here. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. Perfect. Now we're going to just try to keep this in the same shape. Changes will be made, so if you're trying to follow along, I'm sorry. I'll try to keep it as accurate as possible. Okay, perfect. So that is the first shape. I think it's a little big, to be honest. I think we can slim this puppy down a bit. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I think it's just a little too big. Let's actually just make this one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. And make this little indent and make that about one, two, three, four, five. And bring that about one, two, three, four, five out. Yeah, that should do. And we want to keep the same shape like I said before. I'm guessing the door is going to go right here. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, right on the edge. It's gonna make me mad. Perfect. And we want to just match this side here. Now, of course, we're just laying out the foundation. Changes will be made, like I said. But this is just the uh, the base of the house. I'm gonna add pillars and other uh, major details to it later. But for right now, it doesn't need anything major. It just needs to lay out this. Uh, build will be done in separate parts, so I'll try to do them uh, just a day apart, so part one, the day you're watching, and then tomorrow, part two, and uh, so on, but if that does not happen, I'm sorry, I probably have other things going on at that time, but I will try, I will try voice crack to stay updated. <laughs> Now the main reason we did stop was just because we, we weren't really prepared for it all. Um, we just didn't have the equipment. It wasn't, you know, it, the, the quality of the videos weren't weren't as good as we wanted them to, to be. So one, two, three, four, five. So uh, we just took a break. I did go on and make my own channel. One, two, three. Uh, I'm not gonna. Well, I'll say the name, but like I said, I'm gonna. I disc. I'm gonna keep it up. I do have some useful videos on there, but it was a um, a hawk says. I I made videos there, tutorials mostly. Excuse me. <coughs> um, I did mostly tutorials there, and uh, that was fun. I got about 40 subscribers out of it, which, which you know was fine. I had a small community. Get a comment, like a comment or two in each video. So uh, it was, it was, it was good. I, I enjoyed it. And then a post came back along, and we started playing Feed the Beast. And we're like, oh, you know, we could probably reboot the Ape Bit guys. And um, and here we are. <laughs> now I'm wondering what I should do with this. Like, should be like a like a main room in the back, or should we? Uh, Like I said, I wanted to keep it symmetrical, so I guess we're going to have to do that. Dang you, symmetricality. So it's going to go one, two, one, two, one, geez, one, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll be and you know I'm not the best at talking while I'm building if you haven't noticed but uh, I'll try my best especially when I'm counting things out and so this should be the final shape of the main house and is that uneven it sure is no, um, no, that's, that's even. Weird. It sure doesn't look even, especially from up here. Hmm. Uh, okay, so now we're going to work on the corners, in which I feel like I can do something like that, yeah with the spruce wood. Just to give it some shape, because I don't want to just build a box to live in. I want to give it the looks. Now what Post will be doing, like I said in the beginning, uh, since Feed the Beast is now immersely popular, um, excuse me, <coughs> uh, he's going to be probably doing his own Let's Play, but that's not, I mean, there's probably hundreds, maybe even thousands of Feed the Beast Let's Plays out there at the time. 
So that'll be his kind of his just fun, laid back, just good time series where he's just being himself and playing Feed the Beast. Uh, and then he'll be doing tutorials, which is what we're hoping we'll get the views out of. Because we have not, I mean, while we were beginners during of the game of Feed the Beast, we didn't know what was going on. And that mostly resulted in lack of tutorials on the YouTube uh, website. So he's going to be making those. I, I probably may make a couple. I'm um, not sure yet. Actually, let's add a half slab on each of these. But hopefully they'll grow the channel out a little bit, a little, a little bit more. Um, just regain some of our subscribers. And if you stayed loyal for all this time in which we just went on a monster break, we uh, we thank you for that. That's pretty awesome of you guys to be able to stick around and still watch our videos. Now for the walls. What should I do here? Hmm. Now I don't know how tall I want to make this. But since it's a pretty big house, uh, it's going to have to be pretty tall. So if it's just like a four high and then there's a roof, um, there'll be problems. Now I'm going to guess that we're going to have to raise this along. Which I'm worried about that half slab being there. Let's see how this looks when it's too high. And, uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, Minecraft. There you are. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, and for the floor, like I was about to say before it froze up, uh, but for the floor, it's not going to be level with the current ground. It will be raised like this, so the house is kind of raised. Uh, the windows are just kind of on the ground, which gives you a good view. Once again, the windows may change. Maybe just be a second, uh, second layer of cobblestone before the windows start. And if you guys enjoy these type of uh, these types of videos where just me building, I, I enjoy doing them. And if you like them, tell me. I'll continue doing them. What I plan to do with these videos is I'll, uh, I'll record them. And if I like the way the the building is going, I'll continue doing them. And if I see the building, I go. What, what's happening here? I'll uh, I'll stop. So, so there there may be uh, in the future if we ever get big enough, the lost tapes of Hawks builds, which you may see uh, the builds that didn't make it in this series. But for right now, we're gonna start small and finish this off. And this is pretty much one of the biggest builds we're probably gonna do in this town because we're gonna have to make villager houses, which um, don't have to be that big. I mean, they they don't need big houses. Uh, we'll need we'll need a bakery since this is medieval. We'll need a bakery. We'll need a church. Um, we'll need a lot of stuff. But uh, my house is the most important. Excuse me again. <coughs> Nobody likes cold season, especially in Connecticut, where at this time we're being our we're being we're there. Wow. We're being hit by a superstorm Nemo because it's an anemone and um, there's still heavy snow coming down on us. It's fun to watch. I was walking in it uh, today and it, it's brutal. So apparently the uh, <laughs> the peak of the, the snow hasn't even been started. It should be starting at, they say, about midnight and continue for like five hours and at the time right now it's about 11 p.m. 
So, I don't know, I may be up editing or just continue recording. Uh, but maybe I'll see the snow come pounding down. And the floor is almost done. Yeah, so I, I have questions about the window setup. I think it looks good. Um, let me just test this out one more layer. Yeah, it's going to have to go higher. I don't know how high I want the windows to go, though. <coughs> um, hmm. I mean, if we stop the windows at this point here, because I'm, I'm pretty sure there will not be a second floor. No, see, I can't have the uh, the roof start there. Then that's just too small of a house. So who knows? Do we actually have a second floor, or that serves as an attic? Um, bring this up another couple of blocks. problem with this here though. Um, hmm. That's going to be a problem. Actually, right here, I want to... kind of wrap these around. I shouldn't be doing exterior right now. I should be focusing on the actual house. I kind of want the walkway, um, the walkway leading up. That's that's all we'll do for exterior. Uh, I'm still kind of confused on what to do with this part here. Should I continue with the windows? For right now, that'll that'll do. Look how secure this place is. <laughs> hmm. Still once again confused on what I should do here. Um, I don't know. But uh, that'll do it for this video. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's good to be back. Very good to be back. You'll see text intro and comeback video soon. Maybe tomorrow as well. Or today or whenever you're watching this. Um, but it'll be interesting to be back. It's cool to be back. I'm really looking forward to getting back into the groove of things. And recording on YouTube with the Epic guys. So if you have stuck around while we have... Uh, taking our break. Thank you for sticking around. It's pretty awesome that you guys would do that. But now we are officially back and hoping that we don't stop anytime soon. So thanks again. Uh, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys next time. So <laughs> I'll see you guys later. This is Hawk from the 8-Bit Guys signing off.